Zoho Notebook is a simple and stylish note-taking app that works across mobile and desktop. I've been using it for quite a while and have created a bunch of templates that makes my note-taking experience a lot better. So in this video, I'm going to share these templates with you. Feel free to edit them and change them and fit them into your workflow. Thanks for watching. Uh, very quickly, subscribe. You know where the button is, just click on that. Uh, also, check out the complimentary podcast, which is called Not Another Marketing Podcast. There's a link to that in the description. And also check out my new Facebook marketing group as well. Surprisingly, it's called Not Another Facebook Marketing Group. Yeah, you see what's going on there, don't you? Uh, there's a link to that as well uh, in the description. All right, click on those, head over. Uh, love to see you there. OK, I've been using Zoho Notebook for quite a long time and I quite enjoy using it. But one of the things it lacks is some sort of templating system where you can kind of store notes that you use again and again and again. Uh, so what I've done is I've created my own. What I've done is build a, a little notebook and call that notebook templates. And then inside that notebook is a whole load of notes that I can use again and again whenever I want to. So, for example, when I want to use a meeting note, I can just copy that meeting note into another notebook and just use it. We just right click on the note and we click copy to. And then we can choose whichever notebook we want to copy the note too. And then you can go to that notebook and you can edit your template and use it for whatever you want. That's the system I use and it tends to work really well. Right, let's take a look at the templates which I use and, and you're going to be able to download all of these and import them into your own Zoho notebook. And feel free, we'll, there's links to the downloads and everything in the description. Uh, I just want to run through these templates really quickly just to show you what's on offer. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is a brand style guide, which I find quite useful to be honest. So a lot of my work revolves around uh, building websites, uh, web content, landing pages, email campaigns, and I need to know things like the colours of various different elements of a web page, for example, like, I don't know, a heading colour or a background colour or a button colour, something like that. I also need to know the fonts that are used, again, the heading font, the body font, what font is used, what size and what weight in a button, for example. And what I can do for each of my clients, what I can do is, is create this brand style and all the information I need is just there in one place. So use this as, as what you want. You can you can have a little bit about your brand positioning, your personality and your voice. You can put a link there to all the logo assets you might have. Uh, list all the different colours with their hex value, their RGB value uh, and again list all their fonts and make some notes. It's a really useful template. I use that quite a lot. So the next template I use a little bit is the weekly content calendar. OK, so I do a lot of content on YouTube, social media, the Facebook group, lots of things going on. And I tend to try and plan everything out in advance if I can. So this is a really simple, really easy weekly content calendar template. So on Monday, we might do a blog post. On Tuesday, it might be a new podcast episode. On Wednesday, it might be a tip or a tutorial. You get the idea. There's also a little section underneath where you can write some ideas. So the next template is a day planner where you can actually plan out your day. I've used this a few times. It's not one of the ones I use an awful lot, but I do use it from time to time. And you can kind of plan out what you're doing each particular day. You can change the hours and edit those to whatever hours you work. You can fill in with tasks and leave some notes at the bottom. The next template is a weekly planner, a little bit like the daily one. Only for a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you've got the whole week in front of you, the tasks which you have to do on each day, and you can leave some comments at the bottom. A weekly social media calendar is useful as well. What are you posting when? So we've got all the different platforms on the left, Twitter and Facebook and Facebook group, LinkedIn, Instagram. Um, you know, you can add TikTok to that if you want, Snapchat, whatever you're on, and then the days of the week. And then what you can do is fill in in the middle, exactly what you want to post, what sort of content you want to publish uh, on each of your different platforms uh, during the whole of the week. Also a little place at the bottom to write a few ideas down. A travel template comes in quite handy. Uh, I use this 
to plan most of my own travel when I'm traveling away, might be staying in a hotel, might be on the train or something like that. I, I have an alarm at the top. Uh, what time do I have to wake up in the morning to catch my train? Uh, and then there's the details, the travel out details, the travel return details, the address of where I'm going, contact information for the people I'm going to see, a few notes and a bit of a packing list. I find this really useful. And one of the things I do is on my mobile app, my Zohu Notebook mobile app, I actually save uh, the travel uh, information directly onto the home screen of my phone. So when I'm travelling about, I just have to tap on an icon quickly. It brings up the note and I can see exactly what train I've got to catch, the connections, everything. The next one is a bit specific for what I do, but if you've got a podcast, you might use this. It's a podcast episode template. Uh, and again, it's what I use for recording every episode of Not Another Marketing Podcast. Uh, the title goes at the top, the episode number, the recording link, the date, the name of the guest, the biography for the guest, interview questions, scripts are there. And then at the bottom, there's a nice little checklist of all the things uh, that I do to put a podcast live. Uh, you might do different things and you can edit and change that little workflow, that little task list, uh, however you want. A meeting note template. Yeah, we use these quite a lot. Every meeting. So you've got the meeting date, the project or the client that you're working with, the goal of the meeting, everybody who's attending. And then you could write some tasks and some actions and who's responsible for different things. Make a few notes, leave a summary. Uh, it's really useful just to keep this template uh, for whenever you have a meeting. A blog post checklist. Oh, yeah. Uh, like me, you probably write a lot of blog posts and, and you have to go through kind of like a process to get that blog post published. This is where this template can help you. So put the title at the top, the publish date, and then you can change all the tasks depending on your workflow and what you do. And finally, an email campaign checklist template. Put the subject line at the top, the send date, the goal for the email. Then there's a little checklist of things that I go through when I'm sending an email campaign. Uh, writing the email, sending the email. Again, you can change all of these things uh, to match your workflow. I find this really useful because I do a lot of email marketing campaigns for a lot of myself and a lot of my clients. And uh, this is useful. This is really useful. Importing these little notes is really, really simple. Uh, there's a link to my website in the description. Head over there and you'll be able to download all of these little templates as a Z note, a Z note, Z note. So the file is dot Z note. OK, and that's a Zoho notebook file. Then what you can do is import those notes into your Zoho notebook. What you need to do is to head over to the settings section. OK, and then scroll right the way down to the bottom, click on import and then pick the Z note file and then import it. It's as simple as that. Once you've got your little template into your Zoho notebook, then maybe create a notebook for all your templates and store them like I do and store them all in one place. And whenever you need to use one of these templates, just copy it into another notebook. Dead easy. So that's it. That's how to use templates in Zoho Notebook. Hopefully in the future, you never know, they might come up with some sort of templating system where you can store all your templates uh, somewhere within the app and just call them whenever you want them. Until then, probably the best bet is to create a little notebook called Templates and store all your template notes uh, in there. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you know where the button is. Uh, check out the podcast, Not Another Marketing Podcast. Check out the Facebook marketing group as well, Not Another Facebook Marketing Group. Uh, there's links in the description to absolutely everything. Thanks for watching.